a vacationing president became a mourning president for a man he called the defender of a dream and one of the finest men ever to serve democracy. His ideas and ideals are stamped on scores of laws and reflected in millions of lives. Those lives included Obama's. Kennedy's endorsement last year helped deliver the nomination. I feel change in the air. What about you? For many Democrats, it was all they had to hear. Yet this liberal lion worked closely with presidents and lawmakers of both parties. He could passion, uh, passionately battle others and do so peerlessly on the Senate floor for the causes that he held dear, and yet still maintain warm friendships across party lines. Indeed, some of the most eloquent tributes to Kennedy were from Senate Republicans. John Cornyn of Texas called him an inspiration. Arizona's John McCain said he's irreplaceable. South Carolina's Lindsey Graham said we can all learn from his example. And then there was this former colleague fighting back tears. Well, today we lost a truly remarkable man. And to paraphrase Shakespeare, I don't think we shall ever see his like again. His whole life has been devoted to the improvement of the status of life of those who are, are poor and, and deprived and, and persecuted and ignored and in need in our country. Meantime, for this president, the loss is both personal and professional. He's called Kennedy a singular leader, a colleague, a counselor. Now, in the coming climactic struggle over health care, Obama will go into battle without his staunchest ally. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts.